What up, everybody? It's BBK Dragoon. Good morning or good day, wherever it is for you. Today, I'm going to talk about the weapons I would recommend for a new PvP player, okay? The brand new, fresh character who has no gear, who has no idea what's going on, but wants to get into Iron Banner and Trials as soon as possible. Been getting a ton of questions since Rise of Iron came out. Hey, what gun should I use? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a brand new player. To you guys, this video is addressed right at you. And for the experienced players, I'm going to be recommending the Palindrome as well as the Dead Orbit Shotgun if you want to skip to that section of the video a little bit later. So, Let's start with the bare bone basics, okay? When you first get Rise of Iron, you get an item called Spark of Light. It's a consumable item. I don't think I have it on this character, but it lets you have one um, character leveled all the way up to level 40. I would show you guys this, but all three of my slots are already full with characters. So you get to level 40 if you use the Spark of Light. I'd recommend you do that. That way you don't have to bother with leveling the tune-up. It'll save you a lot of time, and you still have quite a bit of PvE stuff that you get to do, okay? So you use the Spark of Light, you get to level 40, but your light level is still going to be very low and you need to be light level 280 in order to start the Rise of Iron campaign. So the workflow of, of getting basic geared up is use the Spark of Light. You're then going to run strikes in the Taken War playlist. So if you come up here to the Vanguard in the director and then you'll see here Taken War strike playlist. If you run 30 to 40 minutes of this, you're going to get enough blues to get you above light level 280. It's going to happen quickly and it's going to be very painless, fun, good way to just enjoy the game at the start, okay? Once you're above light level 280, you can start the Rise of Iron campaign. That's the next thing you want to do is go through the full Rise of Iron campaign. And after that, watch Dotto's video that's going to be carded on the screen right here on how to gear up. It's the best video online for how to do it and it shows you how to decrypt your light level items, excuse me, it's a hiccup here, from uh, Rahul so that you don't mess up and, and be inefficient. Basically, you don't wanna spam opening packages. You wanna go one at a time because the way smart light works is it builds off of your current light level. So if you open a piece, you look and see if it's an upgrade. If it's an upgrade, you equip it and then you decrypt the next piece because that increases your chance of raising your light level faster. <sighs> okay. So, the next step is for you to get to Crucible rank 3. I know you want a weapon, you want to start using a sweet gun, but in order to purchase the weapon I'm going to recommend to you guys, you actually need to be rank 3, okay? And you're going to need to be rank 3 in Dead Orbit as well, so we can knock out two birds with one stone while you're going through PvP rep grinding, all right? Getting to rank 3 won't take a whole lot of time, but it involves getting the bounties and completing Crucible bounties, from both Shax as well as the bounty um, holder guy. And then you also want to have your allegiance sworn to Dead Orbit. And I'll show you why here in a second. Okay. So the best PvP weapon that you can purchase in the tower. No end of match like reward grinding. No strike exclusive grinding. We're going to go for the Palindrome. For a new player, this is the gun that you want. Why? It's the IS Luna and uh, Hawk Moon Architect archetype, wow, that's hard to say, of hand cannon, which means it's the same rate of fire, same impact, okay? This palindrome has a beautiful roll on it with range finder, uh, rifled barrel, and spray and play. It's a fantastic hand cannon, probably one of the best vendor rolled weapons that you can purchase ever, like out of any of the stock, other than like maybe the last, <laughs> the, the hawk saw from the last stock was pretty sick, but that's your first goal as a new player is to get a palindrome going to be great in all game modes you've probably seen quite a few competitive players running it because it is rock solid excellent range now in order to purchase it you need to be rank three like i said and you also need 150 legendary marks so let's talk about the ranks every single um faction and vendor basically well not every vendor but a lot have a reputation associated with it and you increase that reputation by just playing activities in the game just playing pvp will award you with crucible reputation if we come up here to the bounty guy and we look here at the crucible bounties when you complete crucible bounties this will also give you reputation do you see the little number underneath plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 so when you turn these in and complete them you're going to increase that reputation also if you have some crucible boosters where's yeah these will increase the amount of reputation you earn from your crucible matches at the end of the match for two hours these show up in the sterling treasure boxes and the radiant treasure boxes you can get a radiant treasure box by doing one heroic siva strike per week before you start grinding pvp though to get to rank three you want to head over here to the dead orbit guy all right, so we're over here at Jalal. He's um, by the shipmaster, basically. 
and we're gonna go for the shotgun so we want to swear our allegiance to him now i'm a new monarchy guy and i'm already rank whatever with dead orbit i need to be to purchase stuff so i'm not gonna swear my allegiance to him the way this works is you pick a faction that you want to be associated with and you can hold on to it if you want to change it changes on server reset day so just fyi don't go swapping these things all the time because you'll still be held with them through tuesday basically so i did a rough job of explaining that anyway the shotgun the last ditch 001 is a pretty good like beginner shotgun mainly because range finder hammer forged and quick draw it's not like ultimate tier but it's good enough to get the job done and right now in the meta it's shotgun fusion rifle. It's fantastically aggressive, okay? It's all about close quarters, engaging with shotguns. Ever since 2.4 came out, the sniper flinches have reduced the popularity of snipers quite significantly. So the kit we're trying to build here is a palindrome and a last ditch 001. You wanna go for the palindrome first, then the last ditch, okay? And I'm gonna go to orbit here. The reason I'm not recommending a heavy weapon is you're most likely gonna get a decent rocket launcher or hmg just playing crucible for a few hours they seem to drop pretty regularly and that's not a weapon that i think you have to stress about if truth is sold by Zer anytime soon then you're absolutely going to want to purchase it i went back to orbit to show you guys how you earn legendary marks because you're going to need after you hit rank three you need 150 legendary marks to purchase those weapons per each so you only need 300 in total you can only hold on to 200 at a time okay so how do we begin earning legendary marks? Well, first of all, the daily heroic story in the director down here is going to award you 15 legendary marks. You can do this each day. Uh, it's only once per day, obviously, and it's a way to accumulate marks pretty quickly. You'll see here there is the uh, weekly crucible and the daily crucible playlist. Each of those, if you complete it, one will give you 10. The daily, I think, and the weekly gives you 15, something like that. And if we come up here, I'm that cursor slow up to the vanguard uh button icon and we come over to the siva crisis heroic playlist which you do want to be around 350 light for do you see at the bottom there 10 legendary marks per each completion that's on a weekly reset so you can get 30 basically 30 a week if you run three heroic strikes so that's how you're going to begin accumulating those legendary marks trust me they stack up really really quickly and if you just do, you know, the daily heroic, maybe the daily PVP mission, you're going to have 200 at 200 in no time. So that is the step-by-step -step process I'd recommend to a new player. You want to get your hands on a palindrome. I would recommend that shotgun from Dead Orbit as well. If you don't already have a shotgun, that is a perfect starting point and a good beginner kit. Uh, last thing I wanted to mention too, when I said it's the same palindrome is the same archetype as IS Luna or Hawkmoon, when new players come in, I, they believe like there's an infinite amount of weapon stats, right? Well, actually, each type of weapon, so let's take hand cannons, for example, there's probably like five or six families of rate of fire impact classes. If you go onto any Destiny database, you'll see that there's a bunch of like hand cannons that have the same rate of fire and same impact as one another, and they're tied together. So if we look over here at the Exile Student, this is a higher rate of fire but lower impact um, family or archetype of hand cannon. So there's not this infinite number of rate of fire impact classes for each type of weapon. There just isn't, okay? Like there's probably five or six for each family, main ones, okay? Like um, the Grasp of Malak is a higher rate of fire but lower impact pulse rifle than the Hawk Saw. So when you get into the game, it's not like this intimidating, oh my gosh, there's infinite amount of gear. No, there's like five or six families. And once you start understanding that a little bit more, you, you'll begin to like get a grip on, oh, I get it. The palindrome fires and hits just as hard as an IS Luna, same rate of fire. Now they'll have maybe different range, stability, and reload stats. Those things vary as well as aim assist. But for the most part, once you start playing and getting used to a certain family or archetype of weapon, you can move from patch to patch easily and enjoy weapons a little bit more. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I know it's not super duper exciting, but I've had this question enough times. I wanted to take you guys through it, explain the process that palindrome is a fantastic weapon to pick up. Make sure you watch the Dotto video that'll be linked down below for gearing up. Best video around. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to respond to those when I can. Thanks, everybody. I hope you have a great week and good luck out there in PvP.